Hi kids. Okay, so today I'm going to go over how to take a dollar store skull and develop it into a piece of decorative art. My students did some of these last year for Dia de los Muertos, which is a Mexican holiday that celebrates past ancestors and families will spend the night at the gravesite with the ancestors and have uh, food and drinks and the style for the skulls for that celebration is very symmetrical, very colorful, very festive, um, flowers, it's very beautiful. You can go that route with these or you can do something a little bit more subtle but first because it's plastic you're going to want to sand it or kind of buff the top so that your paint will grab. Now I'm going to use spray paint Students, obviously, you will need an adult to help you with any kind of spray paint. Um, you can use regular paint. I'm doing it because it gives a fast, even coat. It does require about two or three coats, and because I really like this color. Um, but regardless of whether or not you paint it or spray paint it, you're still going to want to sand it. If you don't sand it, if you don't have sandpaper, it won't be the end of the world, it's just that when you scratch the surface, the paint is going to come right off because this type of plastic, it doesn't have any grip to hold the paint. Now, if you have a primer or a gesso in the house, that would be sufficient. Um, it might still peel, but at least it would give a coating that might hold on to the plastic. So first, I'm going to go over this whole thing with the sandpaper. Let me see if I can show you. I can tell where I've sanded because I don't think there's going to be any way for me to see this. Because it makes it a little bit less shiny and I can actually kind of see my sandpaper marks. So I'm going to work my way across the top. I'm going to make sure to get into those eye sockets. Um, get around the bottom, around the back. And then I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to do couple coats of paint and I'll be back to show you how it looks after I've sanded and painted. Okay, so I have sprayed my skull a couple times with the spray paint. I know it's really tough to see the contours of it now. Um, there's a little opening down here that kind of bothers me. This would have been part of the manufacturing of it and now that um, you know, the rest of it looks pretty smooth. I might sand this down and maybe use like a little filler to kind of fill that in. And then I'm going to start developing the details of this. So you can put designs on this with Sharpie, which show it beautifully. You can use, um, I have some sequins. I have um, some of this kind of stuff. I would have bought smaller pearls for this. If you're going to do something like pearls, I would say have the tiny ones. It's really hard to see this. It's so bright. This light's so bright. Anyway, it's a very light mint green. Um, I have feathers. I don't think I'm going to use them. Like I said, the sugar skull design is super colorful. Um, lots of flowers, sometimes around the eyes. Lots of details. I'll put some imagery up on Fun Friday so you can have like a little idea sheet. But you can really do almost anything you want with these. The eyes are often really accentuated. So I think I might put either glitter or sequins inside the eye sockets. And then, I wish you could see it, it's so bright. And then some kind of detailing around here, but I think I might make mine asymmetrical instead of symmetrical because I think it's what I wanna to do to this guy. So I will finish this up and show you the finished piece and then you should go have fun and make yours. Okay. So I'm actually still at an in-progress stage. I realized I want some glitter. It's still hard to see. Um, but I'm adding some sequins. I am actually placing them with tweezers. So I don't know if you found it to be difficult using your finger to put down tiny, you know, rhinestones or whatever it is you're using, but um, the tweezers were very helpful. You could see this. Uh, and then I'm doing a little asymmetrical thing down the side, but I definitely want glitter and I can't find my glitter So I have to go get some glitter and I don't want to hold this video up. So I will leave it here. I'll show you um, 
the finished piece in like a picture instead of embedded into the video. And I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Again, drawing on it with Sharpie is just as fun. You can color it in, you could paint it in, and I'll have a bunch of examples and pictures for you to look at for ideas. But I hope you have a lot of fun with this, and I'll talk to you soon. Kids, I decided to add one more little note because I did go get glitter. And um, let's see if you can see it. And it was really difficult to control. It was hard to keep it in the sections that I wanted and it made an enormous mess. So if you're planning on using glitter, you have been warned. But you can also see I added a little bit of Sharpie line and Sharpie dots. And I think they turned out okay.